days like today, I don't even know what to say, but I will attempt to do so. Hey, Texas and anyone in danger zones, for this storm, I can verify that before this thing hit, it looked totally nuts, and it has been raining like cats and dogs. So we're talking about this giant lightning area here moving south and east over Texas. And it looks like, look, this is just a giant storm complex. And so wild weather is possible in lots of spots. And so if you are in this orange zone here, and heck, technically, if you're in the yellow zone, I would keep watching out because this thing packs a punch. This is quite an impressive storm complex. There's way too much anger, hate, blame, madness in this world. And God only knows what will improve the situation. Though I refuse to give up hope because that is like my MO. But I would do your best to celebrate whatever small pleasures you have in life. And I know I, I'm super duper grateful for my friends, my family, and how awesome Asteroid Fight Club has been to me over the years. But this guy sounds very angry right now, for sure. So this is your giant severe weather watch. Here's your flood zones. And then here's your critical fire danger zone. You got clouds blotting out a majority of the United States right now. And I can tell you for sure the lightning is definitely roaring. There seems to be a lot of lightning activity happening right now. And hey, did you know there is a meteor outburst possible next week? That is correct. In late 1995, Comet 73P, Schwasherman, Wackerman, three exploded. And next week, some of that debris might hit Earth. Oh, that sounds doomy, but it's probably not. Multiple forecasters agreed that a meteor shower could erupt on May 31st, 2022, when Earth runs into one or more debris streams from Comet 73P. The display could be as intense as a meteor storm. We're talking a thousand or more meteors per hour, or as weak as nothing at all. No one really knows how much debris is inside the approaching streams. Oh, that is so 2020. So meteorites are hard to estimate. So go ahead, take a guess at home, and maybe even put a bunch of jelly beans in a jar. If that helps you make it through the day. But whatever happens, people in North America are in a good position to see it. Oh, lucky us. Man, I hope the sky doesn't set itself on fire. Almost the entire continent will be in moon-free darkness when the shower peaks. Oh, maximum activity is expected around 1 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Tuesday morning, May 31st. That's awesome. The shower's radiant, the point from which all the meteor stream will be almost straight above Baja, California. That's true. Yeah, right over there. And so it'll radiate out from there. Oh. This isn't the first time. Earth has sampled debris from Comet 73P. You see, in 1930, at least a handful of meteors were observed shortly after the comet's discovery. By German astronomers, the meteors emerged from a radiant near fourth magnitude star, Tau Herculis. So the shower has been sir, since called the Tau Herculid meteor shower. NASA cameras also detected minor Tau Herculid activity in 2011 and 2017. Based on past performance, the Tau Herculids seem unlikely to produce a good show. What? All right. So they get your hopes up, and then they're like, yeah, it's probably going to be dud. For nearly a century, the shower has been a dud. The X factor this year is fresh material from the comet's catastrophic breakup. Yeah, breakups are really hard. Maybe that's why I haven't gotten into a relationship in a long time. Because breakups sure suck. If the new meteorites reach Earth, and that is a big if. Shooting stars will fly from a point near the bright star Arcturus in the constellation Boots. 
here's the sky map to help you find it. All right. So if you want to learn more about the Talid Herklid Meteor Shower, we recommend this comprehensive paper by Joe Raro, and you can head over to spaceweather.com to click on that link. A lecture at the Hayden Planetarium in New York. Also, a new analysis by Jeremy Babouillon of the Institute for Celestial Mechanics and Computation of Amphoromedes in Paris raises the possibility of two additional outbursts on May 31st resulting from debris shed by Comet 73P in the years 1892 and 1897. It all adds up to a date with the night sky at the end of the month. Don't miss it. Yeah, we could all use a little more romance in our lives, right? But this could be a dud, you know? I know, it's such a weird day. I hope you're doing okay. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, stay cool. I'll get this up when the internet's working again. God bless everyone. What the heck? There we go. I am CCE. Yeah. So look wherever the map is. There, that helps. Look up by the big six. Or right around there, or maybe there. <laughs> I'll do a little more research. But um, everybody stay cool if you can. These are weird, strange times. And try and manifest good thoughts into this world. Stay cool. I know, these are crazy days. God bless everyone. Um, super duper thank you to Susan and Astro Fight Club. You guys are all amazing. Talk to you soon. God bless you. Stay cool. Talk to you soon.